everybody, it's Ellie, Hot Mess Mom, and today is Daylight Savings, and it just dawned on me that I don't know if everybody, like I know all my viewers aren't from the United States, I don't know if all countries do Daylight Savings time, but basically twice a year in the spring and fall, we either move forward an hour or fall back an hour because of the change in the length of the day. And so today it is the spring forward, which means right now it's about 7.30, but as far as my body is concerned, it's 6.30. And so that is, um, I get the challenge for grown-ups, but with grown-ups I always just want to say, suck it up, buttercup. But with four kids, that means all my kids slept in late today. However, magically, there's always one. My kids typically wake up around 6.30. There's always one that wakes up 6.30 adjusted for the time. So this morning, Henry, who had a huge day yesterday and should have slept late and gone to bed early, and he did not, um, woke up at 5.30 in terms of his body clock time, which was our regular 6.30 for daylight savings. It's going to be a fun week with Henry. So I thought today we'd do a review of the sample that I got when I made my order um, for the spring haul from the Lush USA. They, I asked for skincare, and they sent me, um, I can't remember the names exactly right now, but a sea salt scrub, a coal soap, and then herbalism, which is a face and body cleanser. And I'm going to read to you what it says. Battling with oily, troubled skin, cleanse with the power of herbs. Our gentle green giant has an exfoliating, deep cleansing base of kale and clay and rice bran to mop up excess oils and a toning blend of rosemary, nettle, and chamomile to leave skin feeling fresh, clean, and calm. Herbalism gets its color from chlorophyllin, not chlorophyll, but chlorophyllin, which is extracted from alfalfa plants. It's rich in moisturizing, I'm sorry, it's rich in nourishing vitamins and minerals and helps to balance out your skin's oil production. Say hello to Clear Balanced Skin. And the featured ingredient is ground almonds. And I smelled it. It also has rose absolute. That's weird. Chamomile blue oil, sage oil. I smelled it when I did the haul and I didn't say anything, but I just kind of made a face. It smelled very, like, antiseptic and I was smelling all these lovely like spring floral citrus and then here comes this thing that clearly has a purpose so let's go to the sink and check it out so the way I have my phone perched I kind of have to bend over and it's awkward sorry I'll get it figured out um, here is herbalism now and there's a shadow I love how ridiculously great oh that's my eye I love the color of this thing. It make like if I were to use this in the morning, just that pretty green color kind of wants to perk me up. But the smell, like I know it's the rosemary. It's very like sharp and astringent smelling. And it said this is for oily skin, which I have combination skin, but I have a little bit of essence left over from a very moisturizing face mask. So I'm probably gonna follow with that, um, but I'll check in before I do that so I can tell you how my face feels. Right now it just feels like it normally should. My T-zone though is oily so let's check this out. I didn't read how to use it but I'm just gonna assume that you take a small amount and mix it with water and then rub it all over your face. Let's not get it in my coffee. That would not be a good day. It kind of looks like guacamole. Guacamole on my face. Okay, let's go back over to the floor. So, first of all, I totally got that stuff in my eye. <laughs> Now, is that herbalism's fault? No. Is it Lush's fault? No. Is it user error? Absolutely. I do stuff like that all the time. I was like looking to see if a kid was coming up the stairs and poke myself in the eye. So, that's fine. Now you'll notice 
like some serious redness here that's just from the action of me using a washcloth and yesterday I used a product that was really gentle on my face and just had like a really red moment here um, the weather in Tennessee let's see today's Sunday Thursday it was 74 degrees Friday I don't know I was busy all day and Saturday it snowed so I'm fine that my, if my skin's having a little bit of a freak out because it should everything else is too um, so it feels clean and smooth and it smelled good and it was see now I'm saying it smells good it smelled like invigorating it was great for washing my face um, my lips are chapped um, or they're dehydrated it's not like flaky skin but my lips are tight you know um, and I feel like this made that worse, which makes sense if it's for oily skin, it's kind of pulling some of the moisture out. Um, my nose feels fine and my forehead feels fine, but right here my cheeks feels a little tight, which makes sense because that's sort of where I'm driest. So um, this would be something maybe I would choose to use during the summer months when I tend to be more sweaty and that kind of thing, or maybe take it to the gym after a workout. Um, but for right now, at least when the air in my home is sort of dry from running the heat and all that, um, I'm not going to use it tomorrow. So I'll save it for two days from now when it's 80 degrees. Woohoo! Um, I do like this product. It's just not the best fit for right now. I may, like, I may seriously wait four or five days till it's a little warmer and then um, use it again. So I like it so far. Thanks. Bye.